In the name of the council, um, I am here to keep order. What's this? Halt. Drop your weapons and keep your hands and fingers where I can see them. I didn't do anything, did I? Are you sure that some of them don't look like them? Uh-oh. I think I might be framed. God damn it. Again. This seems to be a recurring problem for us. I ain't taking any chances. You saw what happened to the commander. Look at the way they're equipped. It could be them. Well, I'm glad to know I'm, uh... Guilty until proven innocent. At ease, soldier. I'll not have you running around accosting people on my watch. Thank you for being reasonable. Sir. We, we, he, sir, he was just making sure they were not a threat. These people are not who you who were you. Blah, blah, blah. These people are not who we are looking for. I am certain. Will cause panic if we accuse everyone. You, have you seen anything suspicious or unnatural lately? I mean, vampires. Um. What do you mean? I'm not sure what you are looking for. Yeah. There have been reports of fighting in the streets at night. Something to do with the, sh with the supposed Shadow Thief Guild and a rival. Oh, yeah, absolutely. If you do see any, if you do see something, just keep your distance. I've already had uninvolved people go missing. I don't need any more. Well, your guys' commander is a uh, reasonable dude. Keep out of the streets at night, citizens. All the decent folk are asleep at these hours anyway. Actually, had just come here on accident, but then I saw that crowd there, and it got me curious. I am the predator that lives amongst you. Hello, Tenova. You, or you, stand and declare your allegiance. Are you Chateau Thief? Are you? A oh, wow, they just don't feel any qualms about operating in the government district. What? Why are you asking? A yes or no is all that is required. Declare your allegiance. Are you Chateau Thief? Um, I do not have a I do not have allegiance to any such guild. Then run and do not turn back. If we do not find the prey we seek, we have to t we, may we may have to turn upon those standing by. Ah, so you're feeding on them? Well, I'm surprised. How many, uh, how freely they're operating. You know, a part of me is worried about putting off the main quest line. I'm worried that by the time I get Emuin back, she'll be under leveled, and I'm not sure if they'll give me, um, if they'll effectively match her level to ours. Hmm. Well, regardless, I was thinking of going either to, um, Trades Meet, or maybe trying the Watcher's Keep. I understand it's similar to, um, I'm forgetting his, the, the, the name already, but the dungeon, the big giant mega dungeon in, uh, Baldur's Gate 1. For now, let's go to Trades Meet, though. At least explore it a little bit. Um, the militia's under attack. Wild tiger. That looks more like a spider, or maybe that's just, uh... Oh, there's the tiger. I see. <laughs> Let's do this. Quick and okay. second chance. Kill the spider, please. Thank you. There we go. Good day to you. Hold! Trades meet is not safe. Actually, they gave her. Hold! Trades meet is not a safe area for visitors at the moment. Unless you have business, strangers. I suggest you return once you came. Um, what's the matter? Clearly, you're under attack or something. By wild animals? A very interesting selection of them. Um. What has occurred here? Why have all these animals. You helped in the slaughter. Why is there something going on that I should know about? 
You think we slaughter forest animals merely for sport? Hmm. I guess you could not know. I am the captain of the trades meet, the trade meet militia. Our town is under siege by wild animals. We have been under attack by deadly woodland creatures for weeks. Well, that doesn't sound normal. They assault us repeatedly, as if nature herself has turned against us. Hmm. Could it be druids? They do have that kind of sway over nature. They come in waves. We can barely stop them with arms alone. We can't even explain it. It is as if the beasts wish, wish to drive us out of our homes. They probably do. No one is safe in trade meat. Many are panicking. They blame the druids. Hey, that's what I was thinking. And no druid, or any outsider, is welcome within the town at the moment. So heed my warning when I say it again. Turn about if you've no business here. This is a dangerous place for you, strangers. I'm not too worried about animals. Perhaps I can be of some help to you solving this problem. Help would be a welcome relief at this point, although I am unsure what you can do to assist us. We might again okay, uh, we might we fight against the revolts of nature herself in this place. But if you're serious, go ahead and enter the town. Seek out the home of the high merchant, Lord Logan Coprith. Coprith. He can tell you more than I. But beware, strangers. The town folk are suspicious of outsiders. They blame druids for their miseries and see strangers as druid servants and spies. Hey now, I work for no druid. I am friends with one, though. I myself am reserving judgment on that, mo on that point. I will take any help that we can get. I welcome you to trade me. To trade me. I, I keep on adding an S. For what, uh, for what it's worth. Trades me just sounds, rolls off my tongue easier, I guess. Oh, hey. I need to sell some of my scrolls. Look. I have Ooh, writing a few spells to Ares' spell book to, you know, use up some of the scrolls. She leveled up. Nice. What do we get? One... Level 1 Priest, 1 Level 3 Priest, and 1 Level 6 Priest. Nice! And 1 Hit Point, of course. Well, more Armor of Faith is always nice. Of course, Sanctuary is also really good. In fact, I think it's probably the better one for her. Level three, I was gonna say, is that spell slot untaken? But no, it's just invisibility purge. It really needs a better outline. <laughs> um, remove paralysis would be nice or miscast magic, I think. Or just straight up to spell. It's always nice to have dispels on hand. Of course, Viconi already has two remove prophecies and one miss cast magic. Ooh, if I'm ever finding a dragon or someone who's fireball happy, protection from fire is a must. But for now, we're going to do another cure medium wounds, I think. And then, finally, a level, her first level six. Nice. Um, there's some good ones here. Since she's not a frontline fly, uh, fighter, blade barrier. Wait, actually, does she select where the barrier goes? No, it is around the caster. It's a really good uh, spell to punish people attacking them. Okay. What if we were to trade? We give heal to Aerie here. And Viconia 
we give a blade barrier since she does get on the front lines and she does get attacked last one turn I assume that affects any of my people who stand in that in her vicinity if I use it it will require good situational awareness and uh, you know maneuvering control but it'll be very useful I should at least try it out. I'm giving call lightning to uh, Mint's care. I didn't realize he had a third level slot. I like, well, if I can ever use it, I like that spell. Some great things. All right, let's uh, let's explore south first. I see some tents. Taki, are you waiting outside the city because you uh, aren't welcome? Wait, are you a genie? Would you do a little dance for me, mortal? I do so love to watch your forms writhe. It does so remind me of Jan of the Jan and of the Jan of home. Hm. If you have business with us, mortal, you must speak to our Khan. Oh yes, I'm sure he will be more than willing to deal with you. You have a you a a jinn tribe? A tribe of jinns? That's interesting. Oh, see in here. Rafi and Salahi. I hope this is worth it. Have a look at my wares. I Greetings. Find them all I am Rafi, the, the caravan master for our group. At least I was until those damned jinn drove me out of business. So it is just a bunch of gin traveling. That's interesting. Joaqu Joaquin would never, would never have allowed this to happen if she were still alive, uh, to watch over us. Those genies have moved in and swallowed all the trade routes. Huh. Trading genies. Well, it's not the craziest thing I've ever seen in these games. Many, they, me they mesmerizes every caravan that comes in, including mine. It makes you take a poor penny for all your goods, and there's nothing Lord Logan Copreth can do. Bah! It makes my mouth swim with bile. I don't know if I'll even have enough coin to have the caravan return, and return to Moran now. So they're basically enchanting you to sell your goods at a steal and then upmarking them. Hmm. It sounds like something ripe for getting shut down. If you have the coin, which it sounds like you don't. Greetings, good customer. A pearl to you. Good day to you, stranger. I am Salahi, wife of Rafi, who runs the caravans here. I, I wish we could offer you better hospitality, but with those genies here, it's all we can do to stay alive. Of course. And you don't have any wares to offer me. I guarantee it do little for you until them genies be gone. Then I must find a supply for this town. Talk to the head of the merchant's guild. Biz <laughs> busy. Busy be her name. Sounds very busy. Yeah, I'll see to it. And the genies aren't willing to sell me anything? They didn't even offer. You more merchants? Kaverislava. And welcome. I greet you, strangers. On behalf of my family and in accordance with Rom tradition, I'm Gverslava, the mother of this family and its heart. Oh, nice to meet you. If you wish, I can tell you something of your place in the future. A mere ten gold should you desire the benefit of my gift of insight, good man. Um, I mean, ten gold is nothing, and I'm curious. Certainly. As you wish. Come and sit beside me, good man, and I shall take a hold of your hands. Close your eyes and let Kverslava feel your aura. You're a strong man. 
You have powerful blood and a, a destiny that shines so brightly. It is... It is the blood of a god that flows in you. Oh, she's not wrong. Seems she does have power. But you are not alone. There's another... Another who calls to you for help. And I see a man. A dark man whose life has been taken from him. Hmm. Talking about, um... My brother? Seravok? I see this other. She screams. That must be Imowen. She screams. There is a beast. A beast of terrible power. And a dark man. The exile. He smiles. He smiles. Uh, Aranicus? Is he in exile? I... I... No. No more. Please forgive me, good man. Your path has overwhelmed my limited gifts. You frightened me. I wish you good fortune. <laughs> Aw. Cool, though. She wasn't just trying to swindle me. Mustav. Greetings to you, good man. You are welcome amongst my fam uh, amongst our family of Rom, and I offer you whatever her hospitality I may. My name is Mustav. Perhaps you wish to have your fortune told by my wife, yes? She the uh the sole breadwinner of this family. With her fortune telling ability. Good day to you. Jidek. Hoy there, my lord. You are you all are adventurers, aren't you? My name's Jidek. And I intend to be a great warrior adventurer, just as soon as my parents let me leave. Hmm, teenager? Rin, Rinin. Wow, an adventurer. We used to have great big parties with the other Rom families. Papa says he, uh, says a lot of them have died now. Killed by wild animals. Papa says. Why would the animals do that? I'm being controlled. Probably. Maybe hungry, I don't know. Come on. Annalyn. And Mistress Jan. Jean. Willing. And Wilfred the Red. Talk true, Annalyn. A pleasure to meet a socially <laughs> acceptable person. Sorry, my lord. My time is currently purchased up by... B oh. My time is currently purchased up by the boar who claims to have killed a dragon over there. Hmm. Are you a, um... Well, for lack of a better way to put it, a local prostitute. Uh, all he does is tell me his sto stupid story over and over. <sighs> Let's talk to the mistress. Well, if you want to go strapping with this nab, you'll first Greetings to, to you, patron. I am Mistress Jean. Or oh, Jan. Jan. Proprietor of this pleasure tent. It is a pleasure tent. Okay. If you are intent on hiring a companion and taking advantage of our services, you've come at a poor time. The genies have, that have come to our poor town have deprived almost everyone of coin. I've had to almost I've had to send most of my girls away for lack of customers. Damn. All we have left is this this Wilfred fellow. He claims to have killed a dragon, which is far from likely. My girl tells me the man is built like a pair of twigs and couldn't lift a sword. Never mind wield one. I mean, I could test him. If I can beat him, there's no way he killed a dragon. I mean, especially not solo. Maybe a really young one. But he is coin. Like a baby. At least, unlike every other soul in, the, in this town. And he has hired my last girl, Anna Lynn, for his exclusive use. Sorry to disappoint. That's okay. Let's go talk to him. Good day to you. Oh, friend. Welcome to the Tent of Pleasure. <laughs> I've been here for over a week myself, and I can tell you that the prices are well worth it. You spent a week in this tent? Goddamn. Who are you? My name's Wilfred. Wilfred the Red of Luscan. Although, I'm sure you've probably heard of me. <laughs> Adventurer extraordinaire and currently living off the excesses of my most recent plunder. It is quite a story. A tale for the ages, you might say. You wouldn't happen to be a bard, would you? Well, 
I'd be happy to regale you with the story anyway, if you're willing. Sure. Great. So anyway, there I was, traveling through the Troll Hills, right? I came across this large cavern, warm steam coming out of it. I've been to the Troll Hills, haven't I? In the first game or something? Maybe the Siege of Dragon Spear? And the forbidding smell of brimstone and such. A dragon, I think to myself. Being Wilfred the Red, the great adventurer, I walk in and challenge the dread beast. Are you sure it wasn't a dead beast? Ha! Ah. Thirty feet high he was. With a wingspan easily three times that. Red as blood and eviler than a cockatrice of in Myrtul. I slew the beast, naturally, after a valiant struggle. A few minor scorch marks were all, were all I suffered for felling the beast, and its hoard was mine. More gold than you could possibly imagine. Yeah, you're, I'm calling bullshit. Especially with the size you just mentioned. It would have had to be an adult or ancient dragon, I think. Too bad I was by myself at the time. I could only gather as much gold as I could carry. Still, it was enough to make me plenty wealthy. Plus it was a good deed, which is my forte. That's very impressive. I know, isn't it? But don't take my word about the place. Talk to Mistress Jean there and experience it for yourself. This is the place to be if you've got the coin to spare. Well, I've got to go. Bye-bye. What about now? Let's kill! Well, let's talk to her again. Well, if you wants to go strapping with this nab, you'll first have to give up the socket money. Oh, something do. Ah, <sighs> perhaps something will be done about those creatures soon. You'd expect that the mayor, Lord Logan, would do something. Oh, she might have said that before. My last girl, Annalyn, has requested a break now that Wilfred Fellow is finally gone. I can't thank you enough, by the way, so I shall have to see if I can find a replacement or two. <laughs> Until those genies are gone, however, I'm not sure any of the girls will even want to come back. Ah, oh, well, the life of a madam, eh? Well, I'm not sure I believe him, but I do believe he probably found a dragon's cave that maybe was, uh gone at the time, or perhaps had already been killed. Done. I could believe that. Oh, a dire wolf. <gasps> it didn't stand a chance. Hello, Roddy. Uh, it's a fine enough day, isn't it? You know, I used to be a ranger myself. Mm-hmm. And I know why it is the, uh, that all these animals are turning on us, I do. Really now. Um, and why would that be? It's... It's the gods. They've all... They've turned on us all. We've done wrong here in Trade Meat. We are supposed to be in fair and all. Joaquin herself commanded it. Oh. But now Joaquin's go gone. And everyone thinks that means they can go uh, can go ahead and cheat you. Nothing here but cheats, thieves, and liars now, yep. And which would you be? Ah, uh, you're going to be washed away with the rest of this blasted town, just you watch. <laughs> Doesn't like that, huh? They have several, uh... I guess this is an outer perimeter than an inner perimeter. Hello, Wallace. I need a swig or some straw. Alas, my friend, I'm afraid I have no wares to show you. The cursed genies have taken over all of trade meats, trade meats, mercantile enterprises. Perhaps another time. Of course. Hmm. Nothing special so far. I haven't actually gone into the inner city yet. Alright, speaking of which, it is time.
Actually, a number of places. Ooh. I want you in a bit. We're gonna have to go into that crypt. I mean, if we don't have to, we're gonna. Wasn't there someone waiting here to trade me for us? Surface dwellers can be so stupid. Let's go to the pub. Let's see. Alenina, are you a uh, pianist? I'm there. You are welcome in my sight. These people would do well to look upon the druids with less suspicion than they do. Even if the druids are at fault, they do not know the full story. Such has ever been the tale of simple folk, I fear. True, typically if druids are doing something, there's probably a good reason for it. But, um, I mean, there are evil druids as well. Corrupted druids. Hi, friend. Hello, Via Kang. What? No! No! A ball spawn? Here? Do I know you? Um. Slow down. Just who are you? I'm not gonna verify that he knows what I am. No, no! Not after all this time! I won't. Uh, uh, not again! Did you know Saravok? Did he just combust himself? Did I just see a man commit suicide? Because at the sight of me. Well. I'm not sure if I should be, uh, take that as a compliment at my prowess or an insult at my character. I mean, I've done things, sure, but I'm not evil. Just, I toe the line of good and evil. Yeah. If it must be done. Lady Marana. Is it important, peasant? Be gone with you, rabble. There are enough problems in this town without you ruffians adding to things. Do not agree? I don't agree. Fuck you. Give me some direction. Um, Uma. I'm waiting. It's probably hey, best left Do you want to take a look at me, Diddy? Do I want to take a look at your ditties? No, I uh, would not like to take a look at your ditties. <laughs> You're probably working for those druids and have come to kill us all, haven't you? Well, I suppose if Fiatri's willing to serve you, I, I can too. Why, well, thank you for your kind words. Never had rats. No Greetings to you, strangers. We don't get many travelers here. With troubles and all, I'll be happy to offer you a room. But you'd best keep yourself as low profile as possible. I don't want any trouble here. I'm sure, do you have any supplies, though? Can't say that I do, but then I can't say that anyone does around here. If Joaquin were alive, she'd be sad to see the state of the dead trade meets come to. The goddess had established trade meet to be such a fair, to be a place of fair business only. Where shady deals were punished and such. No thieves, no liars, no fraud. Well, according to the other guy, that is all that is here now. Now, we not only have thieves here, but a group of geniuses camped outside the gates and swallowed all the local business. Bribed all the caravans, I understand. Eh, not so simple as that, but sure. No end to their gold. They are a charge an arm and a leg for a loaf of bread. So the town's been starved out, you see. Joaquin would have stopped them. Not now, not even Lord Copperth can do anything. I can take on these genies, maybe. They're high level, but they're not that high level, typically. And I don't think they can use Wish for their own benefit. At least I hope not. Um. What else do you uh, know that's uh, going on around here? About as much as you do, I'd expect... The inn's been pretty quiet since the attacks started gearing up. First, there was just some odd occurrences. A bear attack, some hungry wolves, and the like. Oh. Um. Since then, there's been masses of creatures that have assaulted the walls, and the militia can barely keep up. People have been getting quite out of hand with their fare. There's, there's been stories of hooded figures amongst the animals, 
and everyone thinks that the means, uh, that means the druids have turned against us. Don't know why. We've always gotten well, on well with, uh, enough, well enough with the grove. But there's no explaining that to folks. Not when their lives are in danger. They saw a druid during the last attack and would have stoned him to death had Lord Copper thought arrested him. Yeah, that probably would not have gone well if they had succeeded. He might be dead yet, if people have their way. I don't know what Lord Copperth is going to do with him, or how long he can keep up with these attacks. People will start leaving soon, I think. Well, I'd like to see your services, please. Well, there isn't much to be had right now, but you're welcome to some ale and a clean room. I certainly have lots of them right available right now, that's for sure. Yeah, sure, let's get some ale. Um... We've had three wolf attacks in the last week, and two huge black bears thundering through the streets before that. Those druids will pay. With Joaquin, our, our patron goddess of trade, gone. It's open season in the markets. Corruption is everywhere. Hmm. Old Miss Hoyle. Old Miss Hoyle lost her son during the attacks by the druids' beasts recently. She found her son with his skin eaten clean off. It was a horrible sight. Damn. Should we rest or should we continue exploring while it's daylight still? Mm, nothing in here. Alright. We'll come back for a rest later. Actually, looks like it might be coming to nighttime soon. It's like evening. Not a concern. We could go to the mayor's house now. You know, get the quest out on the table. Oh, there's Guild Mistress Bizia. I hope this is worth it. How busy are you, Bizia? You are a stranger to this town, are you not? Yeah. I'm surprised you were allowed to come within the walls. You will find yourself unwelcome here. Hmm? I mean, it's not exactly been the most welcoming, but I feel like I've had worse welcomes. And indeed, if you came to trade me to take advantage of our excellent markets, then you've come in vain. Between the druids and other problems, there's nothing to purchase here. And you're talking about the, um, the genies? What are the other problems you're referring to? It is nothing you need concern yourself with, stranger. It is enough to say that this ta that our town is in danger of collapsing. There is nothing here for you to purchase. And just who are you, anyway? My name is Bizia, and I am the mistress of the Merchant Guild and Trade Meet. Once, we promoted fair and honest trade here, but of late, my title is rather meaningless. Uh, when you said there is nothing to purchase here, did you mean people won't sell, sell to a stranger? No, I mean there is nothing for you to buy. Literally. At least, not from the merchants and peddlers who have trade, uh, traditionally sold things here and trade me. If you are truly desperate, you can go to the Daojin and have set, uh, that have set up their tents outside of the main gates. <laughs> their prices are exorbitant, but they own everything there is to sell. The caravans will not come because of the danger. The few that have come have uh, only do so at the behest of the vast amounts of gold that the Dao seem to have flowing from their pockets. There's nothing I can do about these Dao. Oof. Until these animal attacks are stopped, there is no point. If you're truly serious about helping, come and talk to me once that business is ended. Very well, then. I'll be on my way. As you wish, stranger. Have I ever told you how it is that I came to flee from the Underdark? Um, no, you've told me a bit about what might cause you to flee, but never how you came to. Well, at least I got the ideas, uh, some, some faint ideas of why you might have fled. No, you haven't actually. I had worshipped the Spider Queen for an age and a half, longer than you have been alive. But there came a time when my faith in Loth was no more. Hmm, and why was that? I lapsed when a child. 
her baby was to die. It would not have made Loth stronger or more influential or made her a greater deity. I lost my will that day. Damn. Well, I can't fault you for that. I mean... One of the lesser priestesses noticed my hesitation, and she took the babe's life herself, eager to usurp my place in Loth's favor. Well... Killed a babe without hesitation. I think you're the better person, though, Viconia. It's a terrible story, Viconia. What happened then? You are not responsible for everything the drow do, Viconia. Well, let's, uh... Hmm. Let's go with number two. You are not responsible for everything the drow do, Viconia. Sacrifices are not the only things that die, Artorius. There are nightmares from time to time, and they come from my dark places. My house had fallen into disfavor with the Dark Queen as a result of my actions, and the word spread throughout the city. Ooh. Yeah. And so this is what caused you to be driven out, right? My mother scrambled to make sacrifices of wealth and servants to appease Loth, but the goddess would have none of it. Well, the goddess sounds like an utter, a complete bastard. A bitch. As is custom among the drow, or just, you know, evil, but that's a given. Um, the weak become the prey of the faithful. A lesser house jumped at the opportunity and began a war with ours. Loth was pleased at the house's aggression, and ours had to fight twice as hard to survive and regain Loth's favor. My mother wished me to recant, to prostrate myself before the Spider Queen and beg forgiveness. She was desperate that I do so, in fact. But you didn't, right? But I refused. <laughs> I was disgusted with my queen, so I cursed my mother and endangered my house. In my naivety, I thought that I would survive after my actions. I mean, technically you did. Um, but you survived. You obviously did survive. What happened next? I... No. The memory of the events fills my heart with bile. I cannot continue. Another time, perhaps. <laughs> well, I look forward to it, Viconia. Not because, you know... I mean, it's a terrible story, but... I, I like to get to know more about you. Hmm. I wonder. What do you need? Fleet of foot and all that. Oh, those aren't locked. Surprising. Hello, Lord Logan's guard. Is uh, your boss here? Declare yourself. Oh well, Martorius. If you, uh, you know, Hero of, uh, well, they probably wouldn't actually know my title as Hero of, Bald Hero of Baldur's Gate. I doubt that kind of information really spread to M, to Om. If you're here to see Lord Logan, he is within his office at the moment. He does not turn away those without appointments. So you may go in for a second there. I thought I had misread that <laughs> and said he turns away those without appointments. So you may go in and speak to him if you wish. Thank you. Hi, Merchant Logan Caprice. Heyo, I welcome you to Trade Meet. I trust you will not earn the worried stares you've received so far? Of course not. In fact, I might be able to help. We have a troubled season. The strangers of in indeterminate nature are a potential threat upon them until they prove otherwise. I am Lord Logan Caprice. Hi, Merchant. Um... You seem uh, more a fighting man. How did you come by the style of High Merchant? I spent much of my career in the military, and uh, but other duties called me here. My family was influential, and it fell to them to provide a mayor to portray me. Oh, congratulations. Perhaps finances are not my best skill, but the guard has benefited from my discipline. I could see that. They seem to be doing well enough. I mean, it is just wild animals, but still. 
and I have improved security. There is only so much that can be done, however. Trade meat has been here for generations, but now we are harassed from the strangest of sources. It has been a very difficult time for the local merchants. The very land is against us. Animals attack, and even the foliage strangles. It began subtly, and now we suspect a dark mind behind it. Probably. The question is what? Is it as simple as the druids? Probably not. Until recently, we did not know where to place where to place blame, but now the people who have found a target, the last group attacked, the last the last group attacked saw several figures directing the chaos. Druids belonging to a group that has been uh, long been peaceful. The people apparently captured one. Had I not locked him up, they would have quartered him in the street. Ooh. Ugh. Being hanged, drawn, and quartered is uh, one of the worst punishments that can be given to someone. I can't even think of anything worse, actually. Maybe burning, but even then, I'm not sure if that's worse. Um. <laughs> what's wrong? You have a scapegoat torturement? Uh, no! Jeez. <laughs> That'd be chaotic. Leaning on evil. <laughs> um, and he has confessed. Uh, he's confessed, or have the has he and has he confessed, or have the people condemned him for being a druid? That is my dilemma. He claims he is here to investigate the druids, and I believe him. Unfortunately, many of our citizens already believe him guilty. Wait, so he's not actually a druid? Nothing less than a public burning will satisfy an angry mob. This druid be uh, remains behind bars as much as... So it is a druid. So he's a druid investigating other druids? Hmm. As much as for his own protection as anything else. What I would have you do is escort him to his task. Or see to it yourselves, whichever you prefer. I would seem to be... I would seem to be collaborating... If my men or I were to help him, and alone he may not make it out, uh, make it out of town, will you help? Sure, it sounds like an additional possible party member. Um. Very well. Um. I will speak with him and see if I can help. Is there anything I can do? Uh. If there's anything, if there is anything I can do, I will help, or I will do it. I thank you. I will allow you to pass, so you might speak with him. He may leave under promise of your care. Keep me apprised of the situation. Of course, of course. In case he attacks, I'm going to search in these safe before I search in these bookcases. Oh, history of the drow. Search down here. You must gather your that might be where the base, uh, where the prison is. That's my guess. You must gather your party before venturing forth. Um. It's done. Oh, here we are. Cerned. I assume that's him. His door's actually open. Well, let's talk to him. Hello, and well met to you. I am Cerned, though my identity is surely no secret after the fuss I have caused here. I know your voice. Shoot. Where is that from? Okay, it was from a, uh... I knew his voice from a bunch of roles. Well, a bunch of minor roles, for the most part, but still. It just, it struck me. It's a voice I had heard before. Um. You look pleasant enough. Are you friends of that charming Lord Coprith? I've, I've made very few friends among the merchants. Um. 
Lord Copperth sent me. I'm to escort you out of town and help in any way I can. Um, I'm indifferent about you. Once you're out of town, you're on your own. Yeah, Lord Copperth sent me. I'm to escort you out of town and help in any way I can. He seemed less prone to rash action, though the merchants had little reason to trust me. I arrived not long after an, att long after an attack, so it must have seemed suspicious. Yeah, I can imagine so. I should have crept quietly as the vine instead of blustering as the wind. On occasion, I forget the subtleties that allows nature to progress. Ah, the blight shall pass, and I will return to cultivate better relations when the time is right. Um, what has poisoned their opinions? Their leader is sensible enough. I am not quite sure, but I have suspicions. I will try to tell you what I know of this. I am cerned, as I said, sent from the north to investigate why the druid order of this region has severed its ties with the traditional hierarchy. Oh, maybe it is the druids, then. It is not unheard of, but the attacks have me worried. It, it can only lead to greater evils. These people will eventually strike out as an animal cornered. You have the ranger Minsk, you know Minsk, in your group. Likely he will also understand the danger of balance being lost. Even though I have heard of he is... A... Wow, Minsk, you're famous. Even though I have heard he has lost his own. He found a new witch, Ari. I know many druids in this region. And they would not support such actions without due cause. I suspect that there has been a, a change of leadership there. In here, here. It is the duty of any druid to find this new leader and ascertain if this is for the best of nature. The attacks on the merchants only serve to alarm me. I might succeed alone, but I would much rather have the backing of a group. One, w one that will also benefit from my service. Are you up for the task? Um... I will do as best I can, but I do not wish any more traveling and companions, especially before I can sell off his inventory. Yeah. I will help as best I can, but I do not wish any more traveling companions. Unfortunate. We'd be stronger together, like snowflakes on the bow. If we were many, it might snap it. It might snap it with ease. I will await you at the grove I have marked on your map. Do not tarry. Our task is difficult, and time is short. Wonderful. Um. To the table. Yoink. All right. Let's get out of here. I'm there. All right, Lord Logan. I'm off to investigate your animal problems. And then busy. While I'm busy, you know, or after I'm done being busy. I'll... Uh, we are all heroes. You and Boo and I. Hamsters and rangers everywhere. <laughs> Rejoice! Yes, Minsk. Um, come back and help with your gin problem. I'm hopeful that we might have good items here to buy at some point. Alright, I'm off.